Next this evening, after a winter engagement, it'll be a spring wedding at Windsor for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. They'll marry in May, but they're keeping everyone guessing on the actual date. The Queen has given permission for them to marry at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Olivia Kinsley reports on the small town already gearing up for the big day. As they plan their wedding, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will have to make many decisions. But already two of the biggest have been ticked off the list. The month will be May next year, exact date to be decided, and the location Windsor Castle in St George's Chapel. Hearing the news today, some were more than a little excited. Fantastic! I would just love that, because we'd all be here to wish them well. Next May. We'll definitely be around for that. <gasps> Royals. I can't wait. It'd be nice to have it here and, uh, yeah, looking forward to the day. They could have chosen a London wedding like Prince William and Kate six years ago at Westminster Abbey. But marrying there may have felt for Harry like he was following just a little too closely in his big brother's footsteps. Their parents, Princess Diana and Prince Charles, chose St Paul's Cathedral to begin their ill-fated marriage, but that history made it an unlikely option. Windsor, a little more private, is where Prince Charles and Camilla celebrated their marriage in 2005, and earlier today the Duchesses of Cornwall and of Cambridge both spoke of their excitement. Absolutely thrilled. It's brilliant. As I said, America's loss is our gain. It's such exciting news. Um, it's a really happy time for any couple and we wish them all the best and hope they enjoy this happy moment. And with Meghan now settled in London, there's a lot they're both looking forward to. I'm excited to just really get to know more about the different communities here, smaller organisations who are working on the same causes that I've always been passionate about under this umbrella. There's a lot to do. Really? There's a lot to do. <laughs> For the happy couple and for Windsor, it's going to be a whirlwind few months. Olivia Kinsley, ITV News. OK, here to talk more about the Windsor wedding, Royal Historian Professor Kate Williams joins me now. Lots of excitement in Windsor already, understandably. Who will have been behind the scenes making that decision on Windsor? This will have been a long planned operation. Prince Harry said that he got engaged to Meghan Markle earlier this month, but that would already have been on the basis that he asked the Queen for permission. And also, as soon as he asked the Queen for permission and she says yes, this sets in motion a huge amount of planning. The questions, should it be Westminster Abbey, should it be the St George's Chapel Windsor. St George's Chapel Windsor has been chosen and I really think one of the key reasons is because it's going to be much easier for the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh to get there much more pleasant. But what it does mean is it'll be a very small wedding. It's a very small venue. So yeah. some of the glitz and glamour that people were talking about the last couple of days, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, probably not likely to happen. Much more an intimate family wedding yeah, um, with no balcony photo call. It'll be different. Oh, OK. And from the public's point of view, if we, if we think back to April 2011 and those incredible incredible scenes in Hyde Park along the Mall as well. How will it compare? Because for the public, for them to join in this big celebration, they won't have the same opportunity in Windsor, will they, when it's out of central London? Yes, it was definitely an extravaganza in 2011, the, the, yes, the balcony wave, everything about it. It was a huge moment. But I think certainly what the palace is saying here is that actually, even though Harry is so popular, he is a minor royal. He's fifth in line to the throne, will drop to sixth. Yeah. And he's actually not the future king, which William was. But it won't, it, indeed, it can't be the same. It can't. No. So, of course, crowds can gather in Windsor, but there isn't quite the same capacity for huge crowds as there is on the Marlin. And what I kind, of, what I think might happen is that although Windsor is going to have the celebration, there may be something going on in London as well. Maybe a fly past or some kind of festival to really find a grouping place for all those who want to come up to very brief, convey their well very wishes. Very briefly, have they misjudged the popularity of not only Prince Harry now, but overnight really the the bride to be that he's going to marry? And although we know he's fifth to be sixth in line to the throne it won't have that same sense of occasion if it is in Windsor. It won't have that same sense of occasion. Prince Andrew married in Westminster Abbey, it's possible. But I think the problem is with the royals, or the venues are huge or small. We need a midway venue. But certainly I think some people will be disappointed. But on the other hand, this is really about Prince Harry and Meghan saying the big thing isn't the wedding. It's not the dress. It's not the wedding. It's our future royal partnership and making the world a better place, which is clearly what they hope to do. Kate Williams, thank you very much. Thank you.